Well, Bluffton University football finished 2014 strong, winning six of their last seven games. Beavers even set a school record with six, six conference wins, finishing third in the HCAC and Coach Denny Doral's first year. With a productive offseason behind them, Bluffton hopes to carry that momentum into the season opener on September 5th. Matt Finkel has more as the Beavers prepare for week one. Building off last year's strong finish and benefiting from a full offseason under Coach Doral, the Beavers are seeing lots of progress in camp. It's kind of amazing what a difference a year makes. You know, last year we didn't have you know any spring ball. You know, basically our preseason camp was our kind of our tune-up just to get ready and try to go play a football game. And uh, having that year under our belt uh, is hopefully will pay dividends early on in the season. We're learning a lot. We're putting a lot more. Or we're putting the stuff last year. We put in a lot quicker than we did uh, a year ago. So. It's going pretty well. The young guys are getting getting the defensive schemes down and looking to be a good year. Now that like we know who Coach is and like what he's about, uh, it makes it that much easier just knowing like you know he's all about family, getting stuff done. So like we know like he has our back and we got his back. Bluffton returns 70 players and everyone is hungry to improve. You know we have some pretty good leadership and our guys are trying to really bring you know a really talented group of freshmen along with them. Ryan Elker is uh, you know kind of our our. our our go-to guy as far as you know just what he accomplished a year ago. Just the little things pretty much and uh, making sure our alignments and assignments are all uh, are all correct and I think we'll be, we'll be pretty good. We have a great quarterback battle going on right now between Connor Sheehan and Colby Spees. And, uh, you know Michael Roberson's pretty dynamic on the outside at receiver. You know those are guys that we're going to count on. Everybody's knowing their plays and everyone knowing what they have to do to get ready for week one and I think we could play week one right now if we had to. There's still a little over a week before that season opener, so Bluffton is focused on getting healthy and shoring up all the details. It's all about just mental reps and you know getting our guys used to what we're trying to accomplish, and you know we seem to be doing that pretty well right now. We obviously want to do better and win a conference, so that's what our main goal is: win conference this year. You know, just making sure everything's crisp, knowing what you have to do, how you got to do it to be successful. We just want to you know, keep getting better you know, each and every day. If we do that, you know, I think we can, uh, we'll hopefully come up and rise up and, and try to shock some people. Um, if we don't take care of ourselves and do our assignments, obviously we're not going to be very good. So you know, we're just trying to take this thing one day at a time, uh, go 1-0 and each and every week, and uh, you know, where, it's, where it falls at the end, we'll see. In Bluffton, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.